Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you my workspace. I've been meaning to show you guys this for a while now, but I did make some recent changes for the better. So I'm really excited to just get into working in this setup. It works a lot better with the way that I like to do it. But I have three main areas in this room that's my workspace area. I have a digital section, I have my watercolor section and my traditional stuff. And then I have a general workspace table. But uh, first off, we can start with my digital stuff. And a quick mention, this is the mic. If you're wondering what that cord is, I have a mic. But yeah, this is where I do all of my editing and my digital painting. But this is my chair. And I have a little pillow for my back because I like it. And this is the computer that I use. It's an Alienware. I don't remember what exactly it is, but it does glow and I can change the color on all of these lights to pretty much any rainbow color, which is my favorite feature. But I have that and then I have my Xbox controller that I use when I play games and a mess of cords that I should probably organize. But moving back up, we have my Cintiq 13 HD and I've had this for a few years and I love it, but I think I probably actually, if I could go back, would have stayed longer and gotten a bigger one. I use a Yeti, a blue Yeti mic that's black. And this is what I usually use for my audio in most of my videos. And then I have my Logitech uh, webcam. <laughs> that's what it's called. And I have a 3D printed cover so I make sure that no one's watching me and spying on me when I don't know it. But this is what I use when I just do the little end video of my face at the end of the each, each of the videos. Most of the stuff isn't particularly interesting but this is very interesting. I got this at CTN last year and an artist modeled those and made this little tiny pot. And there's this tiny succulent that's been growing ever since and it keeps growing in this funny way, <laughs> but I love this thing. And then over here, I started getting more plants. I've recently realized how much I love them. So I'm kind of a novice with them. I don't remember what this one's called, but it's beautiful. And this one is a money tree and both of these I need to repot and put them in a nicer pot. But I got this one for my local farmer's market and I love it but I have this little basket that's a catch-all for this desk and I have like my memory card yeah my card reader my knife which is like my favorite thing I love that thing and uh yeah I have my cords and stuff I usually keep my Cintiq pen over here. I try to at least, because I have many times put it in my normal pencil bag and totally lost it and couldn't work because I didn't think for a second I would have put it in there. So I try to keep it in here and not put it anywhere else on my desk. Earbuds, that's pretty normal. And I try to keep my paper stuff located mostly on this corner. I tend to let things just take over, but I'm trying to be more organized by just keeping it here. I have my planner, which is black and gold, and it's kind of cool. And I have that, and I just have papers and pen. And I do want to show you this, because this is one of those little, like, <laughs> it's so dark over here, it doesn't react, but it's one of those little sun-activated things, and it's a little cat from Japan that my husband got me. So this is my friend. It will always stay over here by me. I'd rather have it over here and by the window because I would miss it. But this drawer is recently reclaimed. I got this when I was like 12 or $5 at garage sale and I recently painted it black so it kind of isn't as garish. But up top I have two rolls. I use it in watercolor a ton. I use it to dab things up. You'll see me use it all the time but I use those. And then I have salt because I usually end up eating up here and I like my salt. And a little container of drink mix that I just mix with my water usually and another little catch-all bowl. I have a lot of these around, but this is made out of a gourd. <laughs> it's super cute. It was made in Guatemala, I believe, but I got it from like a art museum store, I believe. And this is an antique bell that I got for Christmas years ago. And yeah, I, I do have these like ink box things. They're actually pretty cool. They're like temporary tattoos that stain your skin. It's kind of like henna on Honestly, it's just a little bit different of a color, but I like them. This is where I try to keep my pencil bag. Again, this is something that ends up all over the place and all the pencils end up all over the room, but I'm trying to be organized. So I'm gonna keep it on top of here from now on. But yeah, I do have a tour of most of the things that are in here. I have this little patch from Channing. I don't actually know her last name, but I will link to her little shop in the description because she has really cute stuff. She makes little stuffed animals. And I have these two little gold baskets right here. And one of them 
I just put all of my tape and my scissors and just general large things I use all the time. And then the other one has just a bunch of little sticky notes and a pen so I can write notes down really quickly. And I got these from Target, but I don't think they sell them anymore. They've been phasing them out, but I got them on clearance. So if they have them at your Target, I love them. They're really nice. And then I have my garbage bag, garbage, just regular garbage. It's a garbage. But in these drawers, I can show you a little bit when we go inside. Okay, so let's dive into the first drawer. A lot of these are not very well utilized yet because I recently brought these up, but this is just almost a catch-all. I have lots of tape in here. Some of it I took out for convention prep and all that, but I usually have smaller tape in here, chapstick, things that I just reach for a lot or like my Sharpies because I use Sharpies a lot. So this is just stuff that I use. But this is the funner section. This is where I have lots of inks and my extra little pens. So I have my fine text in here, my little set of gouache, which actually this needs to go in there. And this little ceramic flower palette thing. This is all white gouache, which I can reactivate easily, but I love this thing actually. And yeah, lots of special effects paints in here. I have this and several of these that are interference. So they shine a different way depending on if they're on darker or lighter. And I really need to use these more because they're gorgeous. They're, they have this really shiny, beautiful iridescent quality to them. And then my very well used gold. This one is almost out actually. And I have this full set of Liquitex. These are acrylic inks and I love them. I like putting them in here, but they're two tall ones are in there. So I might just throw this away or something, but I have a full set of six of these. And then I just have this little container full of little pins and knickknacks that I like to have close by. I got these at convention. And this, my brother got me from Korea, I believe. Three d printed raven skull. And a Legend of Zelda pin from an antique shop. And this is where I have a general catch-all for my papers. This is my small painting palette. It's covered in uh, packing tape, so it's clear, but also waterproof. And this is just foam core, so it's just the stuff that you can use for like school stuff. You probably used it, but yeah, this is my small one. Then I have a bag of smaller, torn up, cut up papers of watercolor that I can work through slowly. And this is vellum that I rest my hand on when I'm drawing. That way I don't get my hand oils on the paper. Some little canvases. I'd like to start getting into a little bit of oil painting. So that is what this is for. And then this is my palette, not my palette, my pad of Arches watercolor paper. I use both the huge loose leaf paper and also these pads and I like them both. And some bristle board. And here for now, I just like to stick my giant palette in there just to keep it out of the way and off my desk. But usually it ends up sitting on top of my watercolor uh, desk that is and it just sits there when I use it. But, but for now, it can be in here and slightly more organized. And this again is kind of a catch-all. This is my circle tool, which I use frequently. You can use it to either draw circles or this thing cuts them. And I love this thing. I use this tool all the time. This is what I use to cut out the stickers on the other side that I'll show you in a little bit. And just little wipes. I have all of my playing cards in here. I like to gather them. I have a lot of like space ones and I think I have a couple other old timey ones. And this is my heat gun that I use to dry out my watercolor so I can work quickly. I had to order a new one because my last one died, but I love it. So yeah, this is what I use. And little lights that I need to hang up still. And here's the blow dryer that I was using in the meantime, but now that I have my heat gun, which dries faster and better, I can put this back in the bathroom. And this is just a general papers that are things already. So not like clean paper, but like pieces. This one was a print that I accidentally dropped and dented the corner and I have little knickknacks from like the local museum that I go to. So I just stick things that I like that I want to keep in here. 
and then I go through it later, like my little color studies and stuff. And my junk drawer. This is where I put all the pens and pencils that obviously I use, but I don't want to have them all out because they're, a lot of them are duplicates like this. And it's just stuff that I have that I want access to, but I don't need it to be in any specific order or anything like that. I need to carry this around. This is my pepper spray. And here's where I do all of my traditional stuff. And I've got a few questions on how I have my camera set up, but right here is where I hang it from. So it hangs and just films straight down, which is really nice. Or when I'm doing inking, I will just turn it so that it's at an angle. So you can see underneath where my hand is. And then I have these two light boxes, which are recent. And I added them because I moved away from the window, but I love them. They're really bright. So I have two of those on both sides. And behind that, I have this artwork that I got from a subscriber that sent it to my PO box and I adore it. So thank you again so much for that. I love that. It's good inspiration having it on my wall. I have a lot of other stuff over here that I need to, well, that I need to hang up on that wall, but I have this that I put on there to protect my table. I use that and then when it gets too damaged, I just buy a new one. I buy a lot of these. This is probably like the fourth one that I've gone through. And then over here, I just have little jars of all the art tools that I use frequently when I'm sitting at my desk that doesn't go into my pencil bag. So here's all my, all of my uh, pen, not my pens, my paint brushes. And I use this little syringe often. I can use it to suck up water and create little puddles of water in watercolor. And then here's just all of my other pens that I use, all of my microns that are currently alive and not dead. And here's a little tiny, um, fountain pen that also my husband got me in Japan. There's a little smiley face on that. I don't know if you can see it. And I need to fill it back up with ink, but I love that thing. And these I use to tear paper. So this is just a bone folder. That way you can press it down and get a really crisp fold on it. And then this just tears it. So I use these both really often. And then I have a strip cord back here that I just have command stripped down. So it stays there, but I plug my spare battery there. And my heat gun, this is the power strip for my light box. And yeah, this is just very useful because I plug a lot of things in on this desk. And then on the other side, I like to keep the little decorative knickknacks that I love having there to inspire me, but like this little locket, I love this. It's an antique one and that's mother of pearl, I'm pretty sure, but it just opens up like that, like a book. But yeah, I keep my favorite little necklaces over here. This is a perfume bottle that you can unscrew and it holds perfume and you can like dab it on. Pirates of the Caribbean medallion that I got like a decade ago. Lots of little crystals and antique bottles that are also something that I adore. But yeah, I have lots of those over here. This is a 3D printed bird skull. You'll notice I have a lot of 3D printed stuff in my room because my husband is very nice and helpful when it comes to printing little parts and things that I need, but little bottle and a couple of succulents. And I think they need a little bit of help. I've been doing research on how to take care of them better. So they're getting better and they're getting healthier. Yeah, I love these. Little candlestick and my little incense burner that I need to use more of. I like having candles and incense burning while I'm working, but I don't remember to do it as often. And I just reworked a little bit of this one. So it's still on my desk and that's why it's here. And I've got a print right here that's from Leilani Joy and I love this one. I have some more art that I need to hang up still. So I have a lot of empty space in this room that needs filled up, but I have hers. And then right over here, I have this tapestry that I got from a Comic-Con and I put her business card up here so I can remember her name, but it's Rudis to Buddhist. But I don't know if you can focus on that. Okay. And I love this thing. It's really beautiful. Through this door is just the bathroom. And then there's another door around the corner that takes you to the rest of the apartment, which I will not be showing you, but I will show you my work table that has all of my general cutting things. But starting off right here, I have this giant industrial paper cutter and this I am going to be using for when I start doing my coloring book. I'm actually planning on doing it self-published and doing it all on my own which I'm excited about because I love doing stuff like that. This thing cuts a lot of paper. I've already cut a ton of it already. I mean, it goes through like this, like butter, literally. It's amazing, but I use that for when I'm doing a lot of prints and a lot of cutting. And then over here, I use this cutting mat for when I'm doing individual cuts. So if I'm cutting out a single print or if I'm cutting watercolor paper down, I'll use this cutting mat. 
And I have a bunch of these little knives that you just snap off so I can make sure I have a sharp edge every time. And I have lots of rulers around and Sharpies and just general tools that I use. And I've got this little toolbox that is actually my husband's and most of the tools are his and I don't use them, but I do have a hammer in here that I use. And yeah, this long arm stapler, which will also be used for coloring books. I'm excited about actually using these and doing little booklets. And then moving over here, I have a cork board that I don't use nearly enough, but I love these prints. These are little steampunk kittens that I got at Salt Lake Comic Con and it's from huh, Clockwork Art. Okay, and then this section is where I have a lot of my Comic-Con prep. Well, it's a convention prep. I have lots of new buttons that I've cut out and got going, so I'll be adding buttons and stickers to the shop probably as soon as I get back. So expect these probably Monday, but new stuff, new convention prep. Okay, so now we can go in the closet. Half of this stuff is super chaotic and it's never gonna be organized, honestly, but this is where I keep a lot of my packaging stuff for when I send things out. So starting right here, I have a box of these mailers, which I need to order more of, and my red backpack, which I love, and a giant pile of fabric and sewing stuff that I need to use. Okay, so I have two of these little shelves. This one mostly holds like inks and just general worky stuff, but I have staplers, old cameras, and then I have inks for my big printer, which I'll show you in a second what I do my art prints on, but I have, extra printer ink <laughs> and let's see I've got nuts and bolts and then lots of these little clear cellophane bags that I package my prints in and I just get these from Amazon I do searches for just cellophane bags I if you're looking for good art quality printer paper I love Red River paper I have totally converted they are the only paper that I buy now so I recommend them and then I have my little box of buttons, button parts. And this is where I keep, I have a huge amount of them. I got like 2000 button parts, but I keep some of them in here just so they're easy to pull out and use. But I have the two different types that go into it. The big stack of cellophane that goes on top. And then this is the cutter that it came with it that cuts the paper out. And then this is ugh, the actual button press. And it's super satisfying to use. I love this thing. <laughs> and the final shelf just has some 3D printing filament, bubble wrap, my giant change drawer. And right below it is where I keep my really big, I think it's 13 by 19 paper as well as cellophane bags to fit that size. Okay, so this side has lots of little knickknacks and stuff. This just has a bunch of quarters from convention. A little box that has other little prints in there. And then back here is a little basket that holds things that I use to hang stuff up. So my command strips, these big heavy duty hook things. I have, ha not hammers, I have nails in here. And this is where I have my box of extra microns. I got a whole box of them from Amazon because I use the size a ton and I I bleed them out pretty fast, so I have a bunch of extra back here. And this ink I use for when I'm doing any ink washes because it is water soluble, so I love doing ink washes with this. It's perfect for that. And down here I just have my checkbook for writing in things when I need to get paid, little bags full of knickknacks, and then more little stuffed animals. These are little dogs. Yeah, just like knickknacks. I have a lot of areas where I don't know what to do with the stuff and I don't want to get rid of them, so they just sit there. I have these that I want to put artwork in for conventions, like the one that I just did for Wednesday's video. So I have these sitting here to get used and filled up with artwork. And these are pens that I used to use more of and they just got stuck back here. I used to use these a lot in my planner, but now I don't really, but they sit back here. And then moving down again, this thing is just full of papers, just things that I haven't quite planned what to do with them yet. Old color comps. Yeah, I need to clear this out actually because I use this at convention and I put some of my stuff in there. And here, this is what I use when I write thank you notes when I send them with the uh, 
with store orders. So if you ever buy these, I'll write my little thank you notes on, on these cool marbled papers. Candle and then basically general glue type things. And here's a stack of old sketchbooks. This one is almost not drawn in at all, which I need to. This is my little set of normal pencils and I'm missing three. <laughs> Ferrothin pencils. This is another sketchbook. It's old, 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 old. Most of my sketchbooks in here are old because I've slowed down in using them recently, but I need to get back into it. But yeah, there's that one. This one was from way back when I was in college, towards the end, actually. So uh, maybe a year or so old. More old ones, one big one. Actually, I like that page. So that's probably the one page that I like, that pink one. <laughs> and here's my cat folder that again, just has a bunch of nonsense papers in there, things that I don't really have a use for and I should probably clean out, but I have that. Yeah, most of these things that look like they hold important things, they don't. They're just more paper that I don't quite want to throw away. Yeah, nothing else interesting there. But these things are pretty cool. These are little templates for making your own envelopes and I love them. You just trace around it and then cut it out and then you can make, again, little, little envelopes. I like them, two different sizes. A couple color comps from way back in college and then a little palette that I like the colors of. And this is where I put all of my physical business receipts obviously very very organized and then back here behind this this is just where i start stashing my old artwork that hasn't been bought yet originals that is so i have in here just old stuff this one actually needs shipped out so i'll be sending that out today my new skulking but yeah i just collect them up into one of the cellophane bags so i can keep them nice and protected and this is my old old one that was my final when i was in watercolor for college Okay, we're getting close, I promise. This final thing is, well, it's not the final thing I'll show you, but this rack is actually what I use when I go to conventions. I found it on Amazon, it's just like a greeting card holder and it's very nice at conventions, but I still don't want it sitting there collecting dust when I'm not at conventions. So I keep a lot of my papers and things that I actively use on this thing. So I have this little stack of notebooks that I need to write in. an old sketch that kind of got ruined, but it still lives here. And then here I have normal printer paper back here. And then I have a little bit of cardstock. I have this velvet paper that is what I used to use for all my matte stuff. Now I just use it for different stuff. So that way it, everything else matches and just like the embellished prints can be different, but that's what I use that for. This is the paper that I use for my buttons. It looks really crisp and nice, and it's still very thin. And this is the vinyl sticker paper that I use for now. This was the sampler pack that I got from Red River, and that's what made me love them. I used a ton of those papers to figure out what I wanted. And these are all just little books that got made in my bookmaking class and got left behind by other classes, and the teacher let me keep them. I have all of mine back snatched stashed in a little container because I love them and I don't actually want to use them. I loved bookmaking. I'd actually like to get into that again. Cardboard, more printer paper that fell out and I didn't want to figure out which side was the right side at the moment. More paper that eventually I will use for thank you notes or when you buy like an original. Sometimes I'll write it on these because they're particularly fancy and metallic. And this was just an old order that I accidentally ordered or packaged twice. So I kept it in here for when I'm ready to take those out and use them. More watercolor paper. This is my stack of just stuff that I have torn up and sits back here until I use it. I have a lot of areas of paper that's ready to use like that. Little circle wood medallions for acrylic or oil. These are for originals when I ship those out. That way I can just add a little bit extra padding. 
And here's a stack of papers, well, papers and artwork that I need to hang up from different artists. This one is from an antique store. And then behind that, I keep foam core, and this is what I use to make all of my orders a little bit more rigid when I put them in the mailer. So any prints or anything gets an extra backing from that. I have old large paper that I used to use, just knickknacks, printer paper, old calendar, watercolor paper that I do not use anymore. And then right here is artwork that I've gotten from the antique shop that I need to hang up. This actually came hidden. It's just a little cat print, but it came hidden behind this original painting that I bought, by the way, $3. I was super excited. But when I opened it up and found an extra thing, it was like extra treasure. And this old canvas reproduction that I think is pretty cool. I need to hang these up. Oh, and up here, I just have more printer paper and then lots of containers that are full, again, of just old stuff that I used to use when I was doing art, but don't use it anymore, really. I do have uh, ooh, this container full of gold leaf. I love this thing. <laughs> but yeah, oh, and water, not watercolor. I have my Copic markers up there as well, which I almost never use anymore. I much prefer watercolors. And one more thing that I want to show in here because it's super cool. I want to show this wood dragon. This guy, he still sits in here. It's also from an antique shop. I love antique stores, but yeah, he uh, probably needs somewhere a little bit more out in the open, but for now he lives in here. Okay, now we can actually go and I'll show you the printers that I use. So around here, I've got my work table, again, my digital one. And then down here I have well, it's not mine, it's my husband's, but it's a little 3D printer. And below that, that is my business printer. This is from Brother and it's just a toner printer so that I can print a ton of business things and line work. This is where I print all of my little color comps and sketches that I did digitally. That way it just takes a lot less money to print it. And then I have my scale for when I'm sending off prints so that I know exactly how much it's gonna be and I can pay for it before I go. And then this is the, the best thing. This is my art printer. So I use a Prixma, Pixma, I always add an R in there. It's a Canon Pixma Pro 1. And you just open it up here and put the paper in there. And you also have this open and it comes out there. I actually need to make a cover for it so it doesn't get as covered in dust as you can see. That would be preferable but this is where I print all of my prints and the thing that makes this printer super fun when it actually comes time to change the inks is that it does that look at that it's gorgeous I love this thing and that is it for today's workspace tour hopefully I wasn't too rambly I do have a lot of little knickknacks everywhere but that's the way I like it but yeah that's where I work that's where I'm spend about 90% of my time is in this room with all this stuff working away on artwork. But thank you so much for watching. I do have a link down in the description as well as in my end card that'll take you to my art shop. So if you want to own any prints or originals or buttons or stickers, go ahead and check that out and it'll take you over there. But yeah, for that, for this, I think that's it.